This is some green light good stuff called Alwa's Awakening. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Alwa. Ulwa. Who knows? A L W A. Uh, it is an NES inspired game for devoted retro fans. Um, to be honest, the spiel that they've put in the text isn't fantastic. It doesn't do a great job of selling it. Um, because it sounds so normal. You know, it's a retro-inspired indie game. A love letter to the old school era. Um, I'm being very critical of the trailer, um, but that's only because I think it does a disservice to how promising and how fun the actual game looks. You know, um, calling something a love letter, that's a bit of a, a gauche overused phrase these days, and it tends to... Like, that looks nice. Nice little puzzle things there. And the soundtrack here... Uh, the music is very nice, so you've got a very gorgeous visual style coupled with some really nice tunes. And the gameplay itself looks nice. Look at that. Little bubbles and nothing particularly original or, you know, mind-blowingly unique. It just looks very rock solid. You know, it looks like a game that knows exactly what it wants to be, knows exactly the kind of uh, emotional... Uh, response it wants to elicit from its audience and it seems to be doing it quite quite well very well indeed actually that's always awakening uh, they want to be voted for on Steam Greenlight if you couldn't tell because you've got the uh, them asking that there and then there's some other details there if you want to find out more so that looks to me like a good fun time description fight enemies solve puzzles and jump your way through this nes inspired adventure game now they're the, one of these green light people that have put some actual effort in their description page sometimes you just get a paragraph and some people put in gifs and images and banners and headers and uh, that's what we see here that's often a good sign uh, of the game's potential quality um, rare have i ever seen a bad looking green light game uh, with a description page that's actually somewhat lavish and stylistic. So you've got the nice features banner, tells you it's a retro game in a modern coat. Um, you can use your magic staff that holds many mysterious powers, solve puzzles, defeat enemies in over 350 completely unique rooms apparently. And you use gemstones to make the staff more powerful. So there's a, 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 a RPG light system going on. Uh, you play as Zo, who has been sent to help free the land of Olua. With easy to understand controls, you'll jump and fight your way through many different challenges. That's interesting because uh, the logo and the title and everything, it makes you think that the character is called Olua uh, rather than Zo. Um, maybe that'll end up as a Link Zelda kind of thing. I don't know. Um, yeah. The game boasts a Metroidvania style, so it's got a map that's very familiar to people who have played, you know, games like Symphony of the Night and that sort of thing, which is always cool to see. Um, so far in my life, I've never felt that there are too many of those to deal with. Uh, there are unlockable characters and items and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, again, as I said, doesn't look particularly uh, hugely innovative in any way, but it does look rock solid. Uh, very pretty. Uh, I love the colour scheme they've got going. The uh, the colour contrasts and everything. Uh, just just very nice, very appealing to myself personally. Uh, as always, uh, good light green stuff can't guarantee that the game itself will turn out to be good, just that it looks promising and that it looks good. And this one does indeed look good. But if you think it looks good, you know, feel free to vote for it. Why not? You know, you don't have to. I don't, I don't care. Um, but I think it looks good. That's the point of the video. And I guess that's the conclusion of the video as well. Always Awakening. It's a game.